What's up guys? Tony Rican here and today I'm gonna make the perfect little Puerto Rican side to go with any barbecue. I'm gonna be making some yuca and esqueveche. You know exactly what this is, don't you? That's right. This is awesome. So let's just go and get started and jump right into this one. Remember guys, if you love all cool content I'm putting out here on my channel, the easiest way to make sure it keeps on rolling and help the channel grow is just to hit like and share on this video, drop a comment down below, then go and subscribe and share my YouTube channel. That way, every Monday and Friday you get a brand new, really cool, simple recipe just like this, yuca and escabeche. Which to start, I'm gonna prep my yuca. For this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the ends off, then if you have a long piece like this, it's easier to cut it in half and work with half at a time. You're just going to score it and then use that to get under the bark and peel it. Once that yuca is peeled, I'm going to get a pot of water boiling, salt it a little bit, add the yuca in, bring it back to a boil, and let that go for about 30 minutes, then I'll rinse these and we're ready to move on. Now I forgot to tell you, I like to slice the yuca in half so it cooks all the way through quicker and you'll see it starts to break apart on its own. What I did is I drained it, I'm gonna go ahead and chop this into some bite-sized chunks and put it in a bowl. With my yuca all chunked, what I have is I have some olive oil in a pan, I'm gonna start heating it up slice my onion. Once that oil is heated up, I'll throw the onion in there and let it go for about five minutes. Now once those onions are nice and tender, but before they brown, I'm gonna go ahead and add in some vinegar, some garlic, salt and pepper, and let that go for another minute or so. I'm going to add that into my cooked yuca. We're going to add some green olives, some pimento, and because I like the extra saltiness, I'm going to add in some capers. You don't have to add that if you don't want. I'm going to toss this all together, get everything nice and coated. Then I'm going to go ahead, pop this in my fridge for at least an hour so that all these flavors can get nice and combined. And that's it, guys, with that little bit of work, this cool side dish is done. Just take a look at how it came out. This freaking looks awesome. My yuca looks great, those uh, onions are nice and pickled, but you know, we can't just look at this. I gotta go ahead and dig in and just give this a try. Let's get a little bit of everything, a little yuca, a little pickled onion, there we go. Mmm. This is freaking incredible. If you guys are ready to dip your toe into those Puerto Rican food waters, this is a great barbecue recipe for you. Just go ahead and like, share, comment on the video down below. Go ahead and like and share my Facebook page. If you need complete step-by-step -step permanent instructions, head over to AverageGuyGourmet.com. Consider subscribing to my Patreon for even one dollar to help this content keep rolling out. Give this one a try, and we'll see you guys next time.